So today, Saturday, uh, an invader got into the chicken coop again. Uh, luckily, um, it looks as though they've made a den, or it has made a den, uh, today, just today. Otherwise, I think I would have noticed it yesterday, and I do not. What's happened here is, <coughs> I'll move this. But it's tunneled. Can you get down in there? Mm -hmm. It's tunneled right down in, and the hole goes back that way. And it's taken all the waste dirt and put it up beside the air compressor. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting this piece of wood here, taking the good old trap, the old box trap, and then here I have some scallops and zatarans and that's that's enough to get anybody going I think I may trap a cat but uh, I'm hoping that this will work so I'm gonna take it and put it in this trap and hope for the best Hush, you old rooster. Okay, here we go. Alright. We're going to go ahead and set her. Put a hair trigger on it. Put that right there. So there we have it. A little bit of Scallops, Canadian sea scallops, and uh, there's this hole. I kind of put that pan there just to block it off. Not that that's really going to make too much of a difference, but hopefully any bit of encouragement we can get to get him going into the trap instead of up here will be good. Come here, little rooster. And on top of that, this is the bandit here. It's a little banny rooster. On top of that, we have over here the baby monitor sitting right on the compressor. And uh, we got Speed Racer up there on top of the baby monitor. So I'm going to be hoping for the best. Hopefully, I don't catch a kitty cat tonight because I'd really like to catch this thing. Um, a couple of months ago, we had a mink that came in and uh, got one of my ducks and uh, the next night well about two nights later it got Gertrude which is one of my laying hens one of my better laying hens and if you're ever wondering when a mink takes a chicken at least this mink in particular it bit the whole head and neck off right to the body right to in here there was nothing left it was just like the body and that was it the whole head and neck was missing completely so uh, if you ever come across that chances are it's probably a mink it was an American mink uh, I shot it killed it with a nine millimeter pistol inside of the shop and uh, what's left of it is over there in the stretcher and uh, it's just basically the pelt now, the skin. Yeah, I see that. And so it looks as though uh, Kitty Cat is already over there wanting to get involved with what's uh, going on with the scallop tray in there. So we'll probably end up catching a Kitty Cat. But uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll pen her up in a different place tonight. But whatever it is, I want to get it. I don't want to get any more of the critters. Generally, what I'll do is I'll take uh, a smoke bomb that you can buy at Tractor Supply. It's called the Great Destroyer, I think is what they're called. And they look like uh, maybe a third of a road flare. And you light them up, you throw them in there, and uh, 
uh, sulfur gas goes in and basically suffocates the animal in the hole. Of course, you have to cover the hole back over top of them. Would you hush? Jeez, loud. What's the matter? I'm trying to get the critter here for you. <laughs> but uh, tomorrow, if I don't catch anything, that's probably what I'm going to do. We'll go up to Tractor Supply and get uh, a couple of the smoke bombs. And uh, we'll nail him. So hopefully I'll have a video in the morning with a, a dead varmint inside the cage. So, uh, see ya!